everyone so in today's video i'm going to be showing you um this dresser that i ended up flipping um in this is episode flip number two right now so um i hope you just follow along and enjoy it thanks for watching so what i'm doing here is i'm taking a chalk paint uh light blue it's a kilt brand i got it from walmart and I'm just coating and starting to paint the dresser. I originally spray painted it uh, green and I just did not like how it turned out. It was just not, not good whatsoever. So when I spray painted it, I ended up getting spray paint on the inside of the dresser a little bit. So as you can see coming up, I ended up unscrewing the stuff so I could paint the inside. Um, Here's the contact paper coming up, a picture right there. The light blue will match perfectly. And then I did spray or I did spray it down after and clean it. But what I did was I decided to paint on the inside because like I said, I did get some spray paint in there. And I just wanted to look professional and have it all be one color and not have some green spray paint on the inside while the outside is blue. So that's what I'm doing here. I ended up putting, I think, two to three coats over the whole dresser of the chalk paint. And then I'm going to be coating it in a protective chalk paint. It's a spray. It's in a can. It's a Rust-Oleum brand. And you'll see that in the next clip. I already sprayed one coat on the drawers, but I'm just going to have to wait for it to get a little warmer outside. I spray painted in my front hall with my front door open because I have like a little area, but it's just really not good to breathe in and it's just a lot easier to do it outside. So we're going to have a couple warm days coming up and I'm just going to do it out there. And then I have to spray paint the handles gold, so I'll do that outside as well. Um, but as you can see here, that's where I did my first coat and it's just like a spray. And then here I put a second and third coat of clear coat on the dresser to make sure it was nice and protected. Um, I decided to go out and do it because it's really, really smelly. And then here is the only clip I got of me putting contact paper in the drawers. Um, it was a pain in the butt. I definitely don't like working with contact paper. I'm not a professional. So as you see here, I'm just putting an extra little strip to make sure it's covered. And then here is the final finishing of the project. I took and put the hardware back on. I spray painted the original hardware gold metallic um and then i just screwed them back in on the four drawers i'm really happy the way the gold turned out okay and it is done um i ran out of my it's in the bathroom by the way because the lighting is the best out of my whole house in the bathroom so I touched up a couple of spots and um and like right here just a couple of spots that like got dinged um I ran out of the chalk clear coat rust-oleum stuff I used so before I can post it I have to get more of that and just spray it over because like this is dry and because obviously that doesn't have it over it there's like a big huge difference so that's super obvious so I do have to do that before I post it but this is how it turned out um honestly i just painted it i painted the handles like i sprayed the handles with gold spray paint they're the original handles i used um and then see i have to like touch that up and then i added some contact paper i got from amazon and that is like all i did so the contact paper was like the hardest part 
Like you see how it's kind of bubbly? They're drawers, so I figured it's like not, honestly not the end of the world. And obviously whoever like comes to look at it is gonna like check it out and stuff. Um, very hard to do contact paper. If I do it in the future, I'm definitely gonna like do it a different way. But there it is. Pretty happy how it turned out. So I got this for 15. Um, this, the paint, the blue chalk paint, like the top I got was 20 bucks. Um, but I use it, I've used it for other projects in the past and I still have some for the future. So I'd say honestly only a couple bucks from that. Um, the spray paint for the handles, contact paper. I'd say I'm probably like 30 into it, 35 into it. So I'm going to try selling it for a hundred. I'm going to list it for a hundred. Like obviously, like I said, I have to touch that stuff up, but, and see how it goes, see if it goes good. Um, it is particle board. So I know that does affect the value. It's not real wood, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. And honestly, even if I get 50 bucks from it, I still make a profit. So as a, like a new starter to this furniture flipping stuff, I'm pretty happy. Um, like I said before, I'm not a professional and I definitely am learning as I go. So even on this project, I learned more than I did from the last and I'm pretty excited to continue to grow. So yeah, there you go. Um, the lighting is like really bright now, but um, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and just stay tuned for the next flip side I'm doing. I have a couple in the works. I've got another dresser, another kids kitchen. Um, I didn't make a video of the first one, but that's what the first one turned out. And I have a second one I'm making. So um, a lot of good stuff in the future. So uh, just subscribe, like, and follow along. Thank you. Bye.